I was invited out here to share my story with Showcase, and uh, Miss Diane Mercer actually introduced me, and uh, I had the pleasure of meeting Mr. John, and um, just extremely thankful for the opportunity to come out to a place where you have people who are diligently working to positively affect the lives of uh, kids in our communities. And so I came sharing my story of how I went from a place of despair to a destiny of hope and how I overcame being charged with first degree murder and attempted armed robbery charges to traveling the world, having my own family, wife, beautiful daughter and son, um, experiencing different cultures, making the most out of my life, uh, seeing my dreams being manifested. And uh, I just wanted to continue to encourage young kids and, and people uh, and show them steps of how to overcome whatever type of adversity they are facing and just be an example and a shining light of just how good God is. And if you put the action behind it, that whatever it is you desire, it can become your reality. This is something that I wish I had had for my child who um, was on death row for eight years uh, for a crime he didn't do, um, now still in prison, uh, but off of death row, thank God. But this program, when I heard of it, when I met John, uh, I just, I just, just fell in love with his, the passion that he has for it, and what he's doing um, for the other, for the youth, and just wanted to be a part of it. Just wanted to give a message of hope. Want to give a, want to inspire, encourage um, someone, a mother, the, the, the children, of course, the teens, but the parents as well, because we go through too. We go through um, this in a different way than the children go through. So, just want to bring, bring a message of hope and inspiration. And today I was trying to tell my story of, of redemption and forgiveness and love. Um, Mark, you met me at a time where I was an executive and I had been working in the nonprofit sector for years. Um, two years ago, two and a half years ago, I suffered a stroke. I was paralyzed and from that I have reinvented myself in a way that I found forgiveness and love within myself. I regained my left side and with that I turned myself over to God and following the new way of path. Um, and I want them to understand that through love and forgiveness and knowing themselves and understanding that their radical truths can be told and with that, that we are able to enlighten them and to also be free of it and that to help them with their communication. Um, we all go through communication issues with our parents and, that, and not being able to tell them the truth and I just want them to know, tell your truth. Sometimes the truth may hurt, sometimes you may hear not what you want to hear, but as long as you tell it, that's up to the other person to either to accept it or not accept it, but at least it's off you and you can move forward in your life. And I think that's what was really key in my communication with them today is to tell the radical truth and to own it and accept it and be honest with themselves.